What's up guys? Do you guys have doggy coin, doge coin, Elon Musk coin? I do. So that's why next video, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway to support all you guys that have helped me reach certain subscriber goals. And we're looking to push that even farther, really trying to get to a thousand subscribers at least. Let's go on to this video. That's right, this video, we're gonna be going over the power rear gate and how to set the memory height setting. Down here, you have two buttons that are on your power rear gate. This is to open and close, and this one is for the memory height. This currently is disabled because that white line up there is visible. Now, if I press that in, it disappears. That means that it's going to the memory height. So, we're gonna open the back hatch. You're probably like, oh, it's not broken. Don't come into the dealership. If your memory height has never been changed, this is actually the factory default. So this isn't bad or wrong. This is normal. So to set to a different height setting, if you have say a lower garage, or I've even heard of people with the rocket boxes and they don't want this lip to hit that, you're gonna wanna take it from here and pull up slowly. Because if you go too quick, it'll automatically catch and go up the rest of the way. Let's say right here is where I want it. You're then going to want to press and hold this button. It does two chirps, one short and then one long. That means that it's now set for this height. This is gonna apply for the Outback, Forester, and Ascent. So if I close the hatch, again, white strip, the memory height is still enabled. Bam, set right there. All right, so first we have the power rear gate opening to the memory setting that we set. Now he's going to turn off the memory height button and it's going to open at full extension. So guys, I hope this video helped you out learn a little bit more about your vehicle. If you have any other questions, comment down below. And again, stay tuned for next week's giveaway. Have a great day.